Yo, check out what I got. Just preparing the area for some painting. Well, rust cleaning, rust converting. What I have here are um, rust neutralizers. Rust-oleum um, primer for, you know, rust protection. I can spray this on uh, metal that is rusted, kind of like uh, some of these brackets here, and of course that. I have products by Rust-Oleum and Loctite uh, that'll help me um, turn the rust into a primer where I can paint over it and hopefully look as good as new. Since I don't have a garage really, I'm, I've got this uh, portable wardrobe thing I got from Walmart for pretty cheap. So I'm just gonna use this area kind of like as a barrier for paint so it doesn't like get everywhere. And we gotta ventilate the room too. Don't forget to wear goggles and a mask for this. Well, I'm surprised this spray is white, so maybe this will actually work out for spraying the brackets. Here. Uh, grab more of these brackets and get them ready. Uh, get these loose pieces out. Get them all in place. Okay. All right. This should be good enough set. Let's spray this some more. Yeah, the fact that this stuff sprays white is actually super convenient. I didn't even know it did that. Because all it says is, uh, for the ultimate finish on bare, painted, or lightly rusted metal. So we're just going to let those dry and come back to it later. Alright, I'm going to try some of this Loctite. Uh, rust neutralizer, see what this will do to the metal. Okay, so this kind of does what I'm expecting it to do. that react with the rust and it should convert the uh, rust into a primer. Okay, I'm going to spray the rest of the brackets I laid out there. This time with the, uh, the white paint. So get that down there. Look, 
one more in there. Yeah. There's that coat. All right, let's let that dry now. All right, so we got all the brackets all primed up. Uh, all that's left um, to finish off these brackets is applying the uh, a clear enamel so that it's um, a very smooth finish. Uh, makes it not feel like uh, rough when you touch it. Also helps to uh, protect the, the color in the paint. good <clears throat> like I already did those three at the end there so that's why they're facing that way <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do uh, that side let's see here let's go two coats um let this dry and see how it turns out okay so the brackets should be dry now um some of them came out pretty good like uh this one seems to be um all right looks fairly smooth um this one looks a little better um some of them didn't come out too well this is as well as I want them to be. Um, I don't know how much I care really. Like this one's pretty banged up. And uh, some paint came off of this one. I might redo that one. But yeah, um, most of them came out okay. Okay, we're ready to paint some rusty metal. So that's why we need rusty metal primer. with this paint, or well, the primer really. So next time I'll be painting the undersides. Hey, check this out. I just picked this up from the hardware store the other day. It's called Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. It's supposed to turn, um, it's supposed to instantly convert rust into a protected paintable surface. Well, I've got eight frames here that are pretty well rusted, so we'll see about that.
basically be done here. We'll just let the stuff dry, do its thing. And then, uh, we'll do a final coat over it. Okay, we're back. We're here to do the rest of the frames here. The other side. Let's get some uh, more rust reformer in there. dry and, uh, and pick it uh, back up with some more painting with the uh, actual stage. Okay, we got the frames primed with the rust reformer. Um, we can't let it stay that way, so we're gonna uh, apply in an enamel to top coat it so that we can seal all that rust away that we just reformed with the rust reformer. Give it a few shakes before we uh, spray this all this down. Uh, hope the wind isn't going to get in the way of this. Might have to spread out the sprays a little bit. Let's spray when the wind goes down. Right now. sides and all the corners underneath. I'll just stand here and carry this around. Looks like I can't really move from the spot.
go away. Oh no, stay where you are. That's five, five frames sprayed. We wanna go over um, all the frames with a second coat. So let's go back to our first frame here. Um, it's been a few minutes already. So I've been fighting with the wind and the plastic here. Just wait for the wind to subside. First one. Almost there. Second frame. We'll wait a bit until we get back to the third. Let's continue on with the unpainted frames. Access to it now. Hmm. Well ventilated area, you got a well ventilated area. down while I got a chance. That's the side corner there. Shadows.
little bit. Let's see what you got. Good. That side there. There's a little debris in here. Let's get that thing out. Fourth frame, second coat. I think that should do it. Now we can just let all these frames dry and then we can uh, go over the undersides with a couple of coats. Okay, top part's painted. Let's get the bottoms. gloss finish. Look how shiny it is. Hmm. I mean, it's not perfect, but 
it's gonna keep the thing from rusting. That's what matters. Pretty happy with the results here. Onward to uh, painting the stage. Oh, we're finally getting to the exciting part now. We get to paint the stage. But first we gotta mix the, the primer here so that we can actually get some paint to stick on this thing. That's the what, one player side. We've got the two player side over there. We'll just show the uh, painting process for the one player side since it'll just be the same thing for the two player. All right. So what we're looking to do here is take some of this, this primer and paint this whole thing, especially over the rusted parts. We don't want any of that showing. Multiple coats of this primer should help. This thing will look good as new. Second coat. I can find the paint can. Whoa. Whoa. I have nowhere good to put it now. Just hope I don't get it in the get the wire in the paint. This would be actual paint. Hey, we're back after the first couple of coats of primer, uh, just to check things out. Um, I see like a few spots where you can obviously see that there's like loose paint here. Um, I don't know how well like a top coat is going to stick to that. So I think we just gotta like sand this down a little more and maybe add some more primer to this. So I'm gonna use uh, this extra fine sanding sponge that I just uh, picked up and uh, sand this whole thing down. All right, so we'll take the sanding sponge and kind of just like maybe go around the trim first so we can wanna be able to like keep track of what I'm sanding. So do the back here first, just kind of Sand this down so it feels 
nice and smooth. <laughs> you don't have to put too much pressure on it. You don't want to like put any like elbow grease in it and end up like revealing the metal and undoing the priming job. Get the, uh, get the back here too. Sanding this is also going to smooth out all the brush lines. You can see hand brush these. Feels pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna see a little uh, primer come off since you know we're sanding this down. Let's see, we got the back part. Let's get the side trim here. You don't have to do really too much to this. <laughs> Give it a good light sanding. Don't have to go overboard. Let's see. Don't have to. Don't have to do too much sanding here since. I mean, we already got two coats of primer laid out on this pad, so we're not like undoing too much of this work. We may add like another coat of primer anyway. get too rough with this, just a light sanding. Till it feels, just feels smooth to the touch. Go around this way. Good. I got to see some chip paint there. Yeah. Sand that down a little bit. Smooth that out. Could kind of see some of the scuff marks from metal, so I might have to apply some more primer here. Let's can see some more scuff marks here too, so I got to sand this down a little more.
get on the inside inside trim here. I had a little trouble with this part. Like it seemed like the primer just did not want to stick to that. That's just bare metal. But it seemed to stick pretty well to the existing paint job. Surprisingly. There, a couple of spots here too. Um, this will definitely need like a, like maybe some of that clean metal primer. You might be able to fill those gaps better. Mako, get out.
if I missed anything. It's really hard to tell. I know though, I can see the problem spots I need to fix up with another coat of primer. thing down goes. I might be good to go for that next coat of primer. If I can just get some of that loose paint off. All these sand that stuff off. I know we hit some uh, some of the metal when we got to some like rust dust over there. I don't know where it's coming from, but we're gonna have to uh, dust it up, clean it up some more. I think it's coming from that spot there. So we'll just have to wipe this up and give it another go with the primer. All right. Uh, we added two more coats of the primer, and I gotta say, it looks a lot better now. Um, after, you know, adding the two layers before, um, and then there were some imperfections still, and I managed to um, sand a few of them out, and then apply two more coats. And with that, it's looking much smoother, uh, overall much better now. Um, there's still like um, a few imperfections here and there, but um, I think once we go over it with the uh, um, the gloss enamel, it'll look good as new. So uh, I think all I have to do is just sand um, a few parts of the the pad here, uh, just to even things out and get this thing ready for um, for the top coat. We're finally getting to the top coat. Take a step back, tell me what you see. Gave up trying to hide. What I wanted was someone just like you. Now I'm running from you. Sanding this part, and we're ready to top coat. Take a paper towel or a rag or something. Just spray it with a, a bit of this stuff here. Our good friend Simple Green. Okay, and then just start cleaning it. Just wipe it down. It'll find that some of the primer is gonna come off basically as dust since we've been sanding it. <laughs> this thing just looks amazing right now. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not even done. I hope it'll be just as good, if not better, once we get the top coat on. And we'll finally have a, an actual pad. All right. Hey, it looks like we're ready to paint this thing finally. So just to to make things easier, we brought the pad outside and we're gonna spray paint this with some white gloss protective enamel, Rust-Oleum. It's gonna make the process much faster than trying to paint this thing with uh, 
brushes. So let's, uh, let's get started here. Let's shake this up real good. Okay. We'll go progressively from front to back. So I went ahead and applied the two coats of spray paint and uh, it is looking really nice now. Oh, like, it's not completely dry yet. We had to bring it in before like um, the elements kind of like destroyed the, the paint job. But we brought it in real quick and we're just laying it on the floor on top of some foam now. And we'll go around and check it out. And so far it is looking really, really nice. So we'll just let this dry overnight and hopefully it'll be dry enough to, to handle and then we'll work on the second pad here. All right, so today we're gonna take a look at the bars I'm planning to spray paint them because they kind of look a little rough and um, if you didn't know already one of my bars kind of shakes um, I believe it's this one here because the other one I believe was the one player bar and that didn't shake at all and that looks like somebody had welded it before because there's like more stuff here than there is here and yeah there's barely anything here holding it together so i believe that's uh what's causing it to shake so i have to figure out a way to kind of bond those together um since i don't really have a way to weld those together i might try some bondo and see if that'll um, that'll hold the bar together all right so before we do anything with this we need to clean this stuff up. Uh, we've got our good friend back here again. Uh, we just want to make sure that this thing is completely clean and free of debris. and spray this thing. We might want to make sure we don't catch any dirt and dust. We want to take a wire brush to this thing because there's a lot of loose paint here. just to lock out any, knock out any loose paint. There's like a piece over there that's kind of, I can see it loose. I just want to chip a bit of it off. Like a 
just loosen it up a bit here, yeah. Chip it off. Um, here. Whatever loose paint is still here. some sandpaper for this. with one hand. around so we can get the other side better. Oh, that looks bad. be good some protective eyewear because I don't want to get any of this stuff in my eyes. <laughs>
think that might be good for this bar. Actually, in case I was here, it could get. Again, so I'm gonna have to wash this thing down. this whole thing down. See a lot of loose rust coming off. That's what we want. All this red makes me look like I bled to death or something.
still see some loose paint there. So I'm gonna brush that a little bit more. Still, we're starting to see some of the bare metal in there. do is go over this whole thing with some primer, lip dry, and then we can spray paint this thing red and then it'll look good as new. Alright, we're ready to prime the bars and get them ready for painting. We've got some clean metal primer here with a gray color. and. Um, we're just gonna cover the entire thing. I think we'll start at the worst spots here where you can see some of the bare metal and rust. Cleaned what I could so we could just start playing. Since the bar over there kind of wobbles a lot, I'm going to see if I can uh, try to use some Bondo to secure it in place. Um, so we'll try that out. Hopefully it'll uh, hold all together. So what I'm going to do here is uh, take some of this Bondo and spread it all over the, spread some of it over the cardboard here 
and then you use some of the hardener to get it to cure and then kind of spread the bondo over uh, that weld over there and over here as well and then let that dry and see if it keeps it nice and secure. up some bondo here. It smells really bad. So we'll take some of the bondo and just put it down here. We don't really need too much. going to require some quick reflexes. I take the hardener here and put some of it in there with the bondo. Not too much though. It's just like a little bit will go a long way. Just get the beat of it. Mix it all together. becomes kind of one color. It doesn't really take that long to mix it. So I'll take the bondo here and just kind of spread it. messy already. We want it to get in those cracks over there. Ah, preferably over this weld. Doesn't really seem to want to stick there. I'll try Applying it to the other side. There, yeah. Let's see if we can spread that around better. See if we could do a better job here. I'll just spread it in the crack. to fill those holes. 
mostly get that part there to cover more surface area. Keep that secure. Okay. Towel to clean some of this up. So we don't need too much here. Give it, uh, it says it'll cure in like 30 minutes, so we'll see where that goes. Okay, so the Bondo is in. Um, I sanded it down, um, so it's not looking too bad here. I smoothed it out as much as I could, and I tried to kind of wiggle it around. It doesn't move around at all now. Um, it's, but it's kind of hard to tell, so I can't really like lock it in and try to shake it with all my might, but it seems to be good now, much more secure than before. So let's get ready to prime and paint this thing. All right, so I just cleaned the bars, I sanded them and cleaned the bars, and I think we are actually ready to paint now. I'm gonna paint it uh, the original red um, as close as I think I can get it to. It's like carnival red or something. It's like a bright red so hopefully that'll match up. I guess it doesn't really matter because we're gonna paint, repaint the entire thing anyway. So I'm just scare that shaking up real good. Start the bases and see how that turns out. Ooh. Oh, that's a good red. Ooh. Wow, look at that.
this again with a second coat. I don't know, what do you guys think? Good? Looks good to me. All right, we put in the second coat and let it dry for a little bit and uh, brought them in because it's um, getting late. But it is looking very nice. Look at that shine there. We'll let this dry overnight and hopefully it'll be um, basically just finished completely. Don't have to touch it again. And this is the uh, the bondoed one, and that's looking pretty good too. Hopefully, when it dries up, we can try putting it in the pad and see if it still shakes around. Hopefully, it doesn't, and we'll be all set. And these turned out great. I'm really excited. We're getting so much closer to finishing the pads. All right, we're coming down to the second pad here. Uh, it, if you can tell, uh, this pad is a lot worse shaped than the first player pad was. Um, you can see how how much of the paint has come off on this one, uh, but that's no problem. We're go we're just gonna prime over everything and uh, wait a few minutes in between coats, and then. Hopefully we'll get to paint the whole thing today. And then the entire pad's gonna be all done. Hey man, I'm, ex I'm so excited to finally finish this thing. Like, you have no idea, I've been dying to play. All right, so let's get started on this. <laughs> had to spray paint the rest of it because uh, I couldn't really get into um, the back here like uh, some of this section here it was like really hard to hand brush so I just had to carefully spray paint the rest but it is looking pretty decent like 
On the couple of thick coats of the white gloss, we got it to look a lot better than before. All right, I can't wait for this to completely dry. And then we can put this thing together and we can put that one together and we'll finally be able to, uh, we'll finally be able to play.